Rocks and pieces of shale still sit in abandoned mines that dot the landscape of southeast Iowa. You can see not much grows here in the 60 years since mining left. The goal is to turn them into prairies like this one. So far, only a third of them are. And federal funding to fix them up hangs in the balance. Our program is due to sunset on September 30th. What do you do when funding runs dry? To think that it would just all of a sudden end is kind of problematic, you know, because we know there's a lot more work to do. On a program that is only a third of the way to pay dirt. We've reclaimed approximately 115 sites and we've got about 160 more sites, surface mine sites, that we'd like to get reclaimed out in the countryside. The Iowa Abandoned Mine Land Reclamation Program is fully federally funded. Since 1983, guys like Vince Sitzman and Randy Cooney have been cleaning up what's left behind after Iowa's coal mining industry left town. We're trying to put this piece of land back on a track to where it's a little bit more productive for years to come. They help landowners turn old strip mines from rutted out wastelands to picturesque prairies. But without a new federal budget, the funding ends Thursday. Almost $3 million a year to turn this to this gone. But these two are hopeful that the federal budget will pass. If you work around government long enough, you know that they'll find some way to, to keep things alive. Or better yet, Congress can pass a federal infrastructure bill, tripling their funding to $9 million a year. Ideally, what that would mean is we could go ahead and get more sites reclaimed on a quicker pace and get this work done much quicker. Hoping the gridlock in Washington. This is the pretty critical week for that to happen. Doesn't make the mine cleanup leave town and leave what's left of the mines along with it. In Marion and Mahaska counties, James Stratton, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.